In this video, we'll take a look at resonance structures for benzene, C6H6. When we draw the Lewis structure for benzene, we might come up with something like this, where we have our six carbons and six hydrogens, and we have alternating double bonds on the carbon. So this is one way to draw the Lewis structure. Sometimes you'll see it drawn without the hydrogens. In organic chemistry, we often leave the hydrogens off because we know they're there. Carbon will have four bonds. Sometimes we even write it like this, where we don't even show the carbons. We know the carbons are at the junctures here, out of the corners, and then we have double bond here, single bond here, and double bond here. So in this video, let's use this representation, but understand we're talking about this right here. So you might ask, when we draw this, can we put the double bonds here, here, and here, and have them alternating in that manner? And yeah, we can do that. It looks something like this. So. Instead of a single bond, we have a double bond. Instead of a double bond, we have a single bond. These are resonance structures. They have the same orientation of the atoms, but the electrons are represented in different places. And we'll put a little double arrow between to show that they're resonance structures. Now understand, they're not switching back and forth between each other. This isn't an equilibrium. These are just two different representations. In reality, we kind of think of it like this. We have our two resonance structures, and the actual structure in real life is a mix of the two. So they're not switching back and forth. It's more a limitation of how we can represent the electrons with Lewis structures. So in nature, they're actually an average between the two resonance structures. If you were to measure the bond lengths, here you'd think you'd have different bond lengths between these because they're ensemble bonds and single bonds. In the lab, if you measure it, all of the bond lengths between the carbons they're the same. This is an average, essentially, of these two resonance structures. Sometimes you'll even see the two resonance structures of benzene, the average, drawn like this here. One last thing to note, people often ask whether these are isomers as well. They are not isomers. Isomers have a different arrangement of the atoms. Here, the carbons and the hydrogens, they're all in the same places. They haven't changed. It's the electrons, the delocalization of the electrons, that is represented differently in each of these structures. That's what makes these resonance structures for benzene. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for C6H6 benzene, and thanks for watching.